For muscles to grow, we need to challenge them with more than they're used to. This can be through increasing weight, reps, changing tempo, or adjusting rest time. Most workouts don't accomplish this. You might be getting a good sweat and pump, but you're not stimulating muscle growth. Let's take a look at the science behind muscle growth. When we finish a workout, our muscles are temporarily weakened. It's not until after a proper recovery that our muscles come back bigger, stronger, and more prepared for the next session. If your next session doesn't challenge your muscles more than the previous one, then your muscles are gonna have no reason to grow and they're gonna remain the same size and same strength. For consistent gains over time, your workouts need to be designed to promote muscle growth every session. Let me share five ways to ensure constant gain. Number one, increasing the weight. This is a method that a lot of people use. Let's say you bench 150 pounds for eight reps. Next week, aim for 160 pounds at the same eight reps. If you're a beginner, this will be essential for quick gains and trust me, you're gonna make them fast. But eventually you'll hit a point where you can't keep adding weight, so we're gonna have to look at new ways to stimulate muscle growth. So that leads to number two, adding more reps. If you bench press 150 pounds for 10, then you've lifted 1,000 1,500 pounds in that set. If next week you get 12 reps with 150 pounds, then you've lifted 1,800 pounds in that set. That's 300 more pounds lifted just by adding two reps. The most effective way is use weight and reps for the most optimal growth. If you can lift 100 pounds for eight reps, build until you could do 12 reps. When you hit 12 reps, increase the weight to your new eight rep max and repeat the cycle. Number three, increasing set volume. What happens when you can't add more weight or reps? This is where set volume comes in. Adding more sets increases your overall training volume. However, you need to make sure you're in a sweet spot between productive volume and junk volume. Studies showed doing 10 sets per week for a muscle group doubled the gains opposed to doing 5 sets per week per muscle group. But beyond 20 to 30 sets, then you'll start to see diminishing returns. Number 4, adjusting tempo. Tempo is how fast or slow you lift the weight. Slowing down your reps increases more time under tension, which leads to more muscle growth. Especially for smaller muscle groups where adding more weight quickly is harder to do. Just be careful not to go too slow because it can hinder muscle growth if overdone. And number five, improving form. Bad form compromises your results and increases your risk of injury. Having better form will lead to better muscle activation for the muscles that you're trying to hit during your exercise. Even advanced lifters spend time analyzing their form. The better your form, the more you're gonna get out of your exercise. Whether it's increasing weight, adding reps, or changing your tempo, all these strategies are gonna keep your muscles challenged and growing. Thanks for watching this video. If it helped, like, subscribe, and comment what you wanna see next.